Good evening, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's time for us to get started. Amen. It's good to see everybody out. How may Mount Vale? Let's make our guest visitors welcome today. We're so glad you're with us this evening, watching Facebook live stream, all that good stuff. Amen. How many enjoyed the service this morning? Amen. Did the Lord show up? Amen. Hey, let's stand for the reading of God's word tonight. Isaiah 40 and 29. He giveth power to the faint, and then, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Praise the Lord. Thank you. You may be seated just for a few moments. Uh, got a few announcements. We're going to get out of the way, and then we'll jump into our service. Amen. Amen. Smile. Did you smile? She smiled. Was she smiling? <laughs> oh, it's good. Hey, don't forget our pastor is preaching at Living Waters Church of God in Rutledge this Friday, the 28th at 7 o'clock. Uh, if you can, go out and support him in this. They're having a, I think it's a weekend revival, if I'm not mistaken. It is good in the state overseer. Is he going to be there Saturday? State overseer is going to be there Saturday or Sunday. But if he's Sunday, you got to be here so you can't go. But anyway, if he's there Saturday, you can go see him. <laughs> there you go. So... Uh, anyway, don't forget, this is it this coming Saturday's Old Time Saturday Dinner on the Grounds. Amen. Come, bring a family, bring a friend, bring some food. They're gonna, I think they're going to provide, the church is providing the meal, the chicken. Is that right? The meat. And uh, you, everybody just bring a side and a drink and come out. Let's have a good time of fellowship and fun. That Sunday morning will be called Old Time Sunday. We've done it here for a lot of years. Yes, ma'am. Did you have something, Audrey? Where's this? Saturday. We're going to have the who can eat the most chicken wings Saturday. I'm in. I'm in. How many, uh, is, there a, is there a fee we got to pay to sign up? We're just going to do it for free. Right. What's the prize? Brian wants to know what the prize is. <laughs> What's the prize? Be a gift card. To Buffalo Wild Wings, right? <laughs> you can eat more wings. <laughs> or gondolier. Hey, if you never had gondolier wings, they're good. I'll just throw them a pun in there for a little plug. But uh, anyway, hey, I'm in on that. That's Saturday. All the chicken wing eating contests you can eat. Amen. Is, who's, uh, I'm, I'm almost in on that, you. Oh, uh, Brian's got money on Brian Coy. <laughs> can he put the wings away? Oh, uh, tonight by Wednesday she needs to know by Wednesday if you're going to be in the contest so she makes sure she got plenty of wings sheriff how many you got needs a little help tonight amen praise the Lord amen I got all confused about the chicken wings where was it <laughs> old time Sunday morning service come dressed in old time outfit overalls if you want to and, and bonnets and all that good stuff um also <laughs> Don't forget, they're having a bake sale and silent auction June the 6th, uh, handcrafted by God's Women Ministry to be performed, or having that. June the 6th, we're also having a, oh, class of 20, 2021 graduation recognition, so remember that. Also, our Sunday night live services were kicking back off June the 6th with Brother Hong Young. I think I pronounced that right. Is that right? Yang or Young? Pastor, how do you pronounce his last name? Young? Brother Hong Young, if you ain't ever heard him, you're missing a treat. He, he's a missionary. He goes to China and Mongolia and places like that, and you're really missing a good treat if you haven't heard him. I think that's all we got, so let's stand. Let's make sure I didn't miss nothing. Amen. How many come to worship the Lord tonight? Amen. It's still Pentecost Sunday. Amen. It didn't change because it went to evening. <laughs> Amen. It's still Pentecost Sunday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm looking around to see who's all here and who ain't. Amen. Praise the Lord. Leonard, yeah, he's here. I've seen him. He's the chicken eating somewhere. He's challenging pastor over in the corner. They're going in cahoots over there, I think. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right. 
Let's pray. Let's invite the Lord into the house tonight. Amen. Hey, how many's come expecting God to do something? Amen. Amen. A lot of times, I think the Lord moves based on our level of expectation sometimes. If we don't expect nothing, then he's... He said it in his own country. He said he could have done many miracles, but he didn't because of their unbelief. I come by expecting, hey, this, let me say this about me. Without a shadow of a doubt, I believe if God wanted to, he could raise, he could go down there at the funeral home and bring somebody back to life tonight if he wanted to. Cancer could dry up in people's lives just like that. Come on now. Obese, diabetes could dry up just like that. Heart failures could dry up just like that. I still serve a God who's in control, and I still serve a God who's healing, delivering, and setting free. I still serve a God who can set the drug addict free. Come on. I'm still serving a God who can dry up the meth house and the crack house and the alcoholic's bottle. I'm still serving a God. Come on. Woo! And I'm expecting these things. You say, well, you're putting him on a thing. I'm not putting him on a thing. He said, the, like what the disciples did. They prayed and said, God, we're asking you to do mighty acts and mighty wonders and mighty miracles. How many is with me tonight? How many want to see God do mighty acts, mighty wonders, and mighty miracles in this house tonight? I'm, a, I'm looking for it. Come on now. Why wouldn't he? He did it for them. Come on. He said, I'm not a respecter of person, Greek, Jew, Gentile, male, or female. He said, I'm saint. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Let's invite the Lord into the service and let's worship the Lord with everything we've got tonight. Amen. Father, we come to you tonight, God, giving you thanksgiving and praise. We thank you for your many blessings, Lord. We thank you for the men and women who come out faithfully and worship you, God, and bring honor and glory unto your name, Lord. Lord, we ask you right now to anoint the singers and musicians as they lead us into worship, Father God. Anoint our pastors. He brings forth the word. Anoint the word. Let it go forth tonight, Father Lord. Lord, we're asking for you to do mighty acts and mighty wonders and mighty miracles in this place, God. We're asking you to save, sanctify, fill with the Holy Ghost, heal, deliver, strengthen, encourage, and set free in this house, Lord. We're asking you to open the door for the prisoners who are bound and set the captive free, God. Destroy the bonds of sin that holds people back, Father God. God, we're asking you for a sanctifying Holy Ghost fire filling baptism to fall in this house tonight, Father Lord. Lord, we're asking you, God, to have your will and your way in this service, Lord. And Lord, we ask it all right now by the power, by the authority, by the name of Jesus. And everybody shout, Amen.
Jesus' name. Oh, miracle. In Jesus' name. Oh, and pour it out. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now we proclaim. In Jesus' name. Oh, miracle. In Jesus' name. And strong the grave. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody praise Jesus for, for a moment. Somebody praise their Redeemer. Somebody praise your soon coming King. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Kingdom shaking power. Come on now. Woo! I got a hush. Amen. Brother Henry's going to come receive our tithes and offering tonight. Praise the Lord, church. get in the door back there tonight. If you go to the ball game or somewhere, you got to wait in line. To get, sometimes you got to wait in line to get this or get that. They ought to be waiting in line to get in this church house. And it's not, it's, it, it's, cause, it's cause the Holy Ghost is here, but we got to believe what this word says. I got, I got to go to conference a while back and we had to wait in line like an hour just to get in the door. And, and and they're having it in Nashville again, the 4th of July at the Grand Ole Opry. Holds 4,400 people. Within 48 hours, every seat's already filled. Folks, we need to get busy. Jesus is coming back. The Spirit's being poured out to those that wants it, that's hungry for it, that seeks for it. And He's coming back after the church that's looking for Him, church. I've got some lost loved ones. But to the Spirit deals with them, they're not going to get saved. I've got a father-in-law laying over in the bed right now dying, and, and he would cuss you if you even touched him wrong for a long time. Last week, all he says now is, Thank you, Jesus. All he says now is, I love the Lord. I'm sorry. Everybody comes in that room. He says, I'm sorry if I've done anything. Folks, the Spirit's here, and it's moving. We can't, we, can't, we can't play church no more. Jesus says he's coming after church. It's ready, folks. We've got to be ready. I, I need to shut up. Uh, the Bible says in Philippians 4, 19, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Folks, I've got a good job. I've got a good house. I'm, as far as I know, I'm healthy. I've got plenty of fat on me. First, I know I don't need nothing. He supplied all my needs. Now, there's a whole lot of things I got I don't need, but He supplied them too. He supplies. Them. So, I'm living proof that that word works. Because ever since I got saved, I paid my tithes. I believe what that word says. And, and, and you, you can believe you can believe the word, or you can just go on and just act, come to church and act like you believe the word, but I'm telling you, the word works. This word works. But now, I don't, the woman give two mites, that was all she had. So it don't matter the amount you give, he just wants you to give what you're supposed to. Uh, Father, we just thank you for all the property. Thank you for Pentecost, Lord. God, we're looking for you. I'm anticipating, Lord. I'm looking for victory for miracles for great and mighty pouring outs father lord i come expecting tonight father lord i know you move in this church i thank you for it. i thank you for allowing me just to be a part of it god lord i'm nothing in your everything lord i pray that you'd bless the gift and the kingdom 
Anoint the word tonight as it goes forth. Breathe on us one more time, Lord, as we get ready to worship you, Father. We get ready to lift up holy hands, God, to a God and has been merciful to us sinners, Father. For, Lord, we need to need to repent every day and cry out to you, God. For Paul or, or Silas or one of them, he said, I die daily. Lord, we have to die to this flesh. God, we have to give it over to you. Lord, we have to cry out to the Holy Ghost, Lord, to come in, Father, to work in us, Father. Lord, without the Holy Ghost, we can do nothing. But, Lord, we just pray that the Holy Ghost would have its will and way tonight. Bless this offering, Father. The Father, for every need to be met, Lord, we'll be quick. Keep you all the glory, praise, and honor for what you've done. Continue to do most of all what you're fixed to do. In Jesus' name, amen.
sing it tonight.
keeps me from loving you. I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you. I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you. tonight without raising your hand how many of you can say that there may be something in your life that is keeping you that's holding you back when in your relationship with God it may be it may be an addiction it may be lust pornography things that nobody else knows about but that you think no one else knows about and as we sing that I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you that means it keeps us from having a relationship with Jesus that holds us back in our relationship with him but if that's you tonight if there's something that's holding you back we're gonna sing this again and I believe that as we sing this again that there's gonna be chains broken off of people people are gonna be set free tonight Come on, let's just worship him right now. Oh, come on, let's just worship him right now. Come on, if there's something that you have that's holding you back right now, I want you just to give it to God right now. Tell God, I want to be free tonight. I want to be free tonight. Hallelujah! 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 I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you. I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you i want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you i want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you i want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you i want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you I want to be free come on free us tonight Lord from everything that keeps us from loving you because I'm looking for a reaction from you I'm not standing up here because I'm wanting people to respond to by applause or anything but I just want to say that I have been where this song is talking about I've been there 
some of you, probably a lot of you know my story as far as fear. And this fear that I had, it was holding me back with my relationship. It was consuming me. It consumed me so much. It consumed me so much that it hindered my relationship. It hindered everything in my life. And you may ask, why are you taking so long? Why are you singing this song so many times? Because I know there's people in this place tonight. They're dealing with things that is holding them back. They're dealing with things that even no one knows about. Those hidden things. Hallelujah. <laughs> Y'all know me enough to know that I'm obedient to the Spirit, amen. And I want us just to one more time, I want us just to sing this song. Because I feel it so strong right now. Come on, if you're not dealing with anything right now, I want you just to pray for those that are. There's people that are dealing with some things. It may even be suicide. It may be depression. Come on, let's just worship him. Come on, let's just pray right now. Come on, Come on, let's just all across this place. Come on, let's just lift our hands. He I know this is not our normal service right now, but come on, come on. Break every chain tonight. Break every chain tonight. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Shut the lady, 
Come on, let's just all across this place. Come on, just one more time. Let's just lift our hands. I'll continue on.
loving you. I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you. I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you. I want to be free from everything that keeps me from loving you. I want to be free from everything
loving you
While the Lord's moving, anybody else need prayer tonight? Don't keep playing. Anybody else need prayer tonight? Hallelujah. The Lord, show sure moving in the house tonight. The deliverer is in the house. The Savior is here tonight for those who might be lost. Amen. For those that are fighting addiction, you can be set free tonight in this house. Amen. I want you to understand something with me. I'm not against I'm not against whatever it is that men do to try to help you get free. I'm not saying don't do that, but I want you to understand with me tonight. You don't have to if you believe in the Lord. Amen. The Lord will set you free. I know some people that's went through programs and God helped them through the program. And I know some people like myself that God just set them free. Amen. All at once, God just began to move them. And the Spirit of the Lord, amen, the Spirit of the Lord will set you free in this house tonight. He's here. He's here tonight. It's a different kind of a, it's a, different kind of a move tonight. But He's moving. He's moving. Somebody said, I ain't felt nothing. It might be because you didn't come up here when you're supposed to came, amen. God's sure helping some folk.
Somebody give the Lord a good hang up for praise in the house. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless his holy name. Praise the Lord. Stretch your hand this way. Pray for little Tiffany. God's doing something in her life. God's trying to take her to a place she's never been before in Him. My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Holy Ghost, have your way in this house. Keep your mind on the Lord, children of God, just for a moment. A few more moments. Keep your mind on the Lord. He's doing something. He's doing something. He's trying to help her. Spirit, Lord, tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, baptize her in the Holy Ghost. There he is. There he is. There he is. That's him. Yes. She's filled with the Holy Ghost. God filled her. <laughs> Woo! Lord, have mercy. Somebody give the Lord a good hang up of praise for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. He's still baptizing in the Holy Ghost. Amen. My Lord. That baby's come here all her life. Amen. God baptized her in the Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. You know something? If you get hungry, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled tonight. Amen. When you get a hunger for God and you say, I'm not going to let anything stop me, God will move on your behalf. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we give God another hand clap of praise? Amen. 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 Anybody want to say something for the Lord? I'm going to be like Pharaoh and let God's people go here in a minute. Amen. But uh, my name is Pharaoh, so amen. But uh, if you want to say something for the Lord tonight, I want you to say it. Tonight. I want you to say it because... Here's the Bible said, talk ye of all of his wondrous works. The reason it says that is, is because you don't know what your brother or your sister's been walking through, amen, that God brought you out of. And when they hear God delivered you, then they'll know they can be delivered too. Amen. Praise the Lord. How about Brother Cox? Come up here, brother. Telling people what the Lord did for you in your life tonight, Brother Cox. <laughs> yes.
Yes, sir. He's got some babies that's sick tonight. The reason he's not here. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Buffy. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Appreciate you, brother. Yes, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I prayed with him. I prayed with him in my truck. I told him, I said, I believe if you believe. You come, I believe God's going to heal you. I got in the truck coming home. The devil got in there and he said, what kind of promise was that? I said, it ain't nothing for me to fulfill. I said, I can't heal him no way. I said, it's God you got to contend with, devil. I said, it's God the one made the way for him to be healed, not me. I said, we just believe what the word said. Amen. Amen. Anybody else tonight? Anybody want to say something for the Lord? Brag on Jesus just for a minute. The healer's here. The baptizer and the Holy Ghost is here. Say something, bro. Turn around and show everybody how pretty you are and tell them what you got on your heart. Okay. Okay, I didn't take it for granted no more. But you don't make deals with God. But I did tell God. I said, if you let me walk again, I'll serve you. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I've been straddling the fist back and forth playing church. Nobody has to tell me and preach to me about playing church. <laughs> I mean, I recognize it when I see it. I don't play church no more. I thought you could go into a club on Friday night. I didn't drink, but I danced a little bit. And that show up on Sunday and really feel the spirit, I thought. And finally realized that they ain't going to work. I want you part of myself and like I said 10 days in the hospital slowly got my legs back like I said now I can do this <laughs> I do it but then I can do that I couldn't but I give all glory to God and because of a friend that I rode a motorcycle with the pastor one weekend I had no idea who this guy was. I didn't even know he was a pastor. They didn't tell me who he was, so we all showed up for a ride. And I started coming here. And I stayed here for a little while, and I kind of thought, well, I'll go to another church closer to home because I live over there on the ridge, Rutledge. But God kept calling me back here. And I tell you, here, I won't do it. Because we got a pastor who preaches the word and he steps on your toes, well, you need to take it up with the Holy Spirit. I mean, if he says something offensive, then up about me, I need to listen. And he's, he's already spoken about an addiction that, I, that I've struggled with. And uh, God's working on me. But I tell you, I love this church. And it, it's a truly praise and worship church. And what's pretty awesome, because I've seen people fall out before on TV and all like that. And didn't really even know anybody that really 
I really truly had the spirit of it. But I got married, I kept praying and praying and praying that God would see me a godly woman. And he did. <laughs> I just wasn't ready for it. I thought I was, but I've seen her literally fall out. And I believe it because I know my wife. She is full of the Spirit. And this church is awesome. And where I come from, the Baptist church, like our pastor said, and all like that, we go down there and visit my mom and start doing this a little bit. Hey, look, it's like we're nuts. And we don't, you don't, just don't feel the spirit in that church. But this is the only church I've ever been to, maybe because it's kind of more closer to God, but the only church I've ever been to that really is a praise and worship church. And you can go to these Baptist churches and sing Amazing Grace and all like that. That's fine. And if that's where God's leading them, that's fine. God led me here, and I've been to a couple of different churches. Don't feel the Spirit. Kim's been there with me. And But anyway, I knew I went long-winded, but I just want to thank God that I can actually walk again, and I know how it is. And others that struggle with different tendencies or different issues, you know, I pray for you, and I want to be a better witness with this right here. Um, I've been in 10 years, and I've done a whole, done a whole, whole lot. But coming to this church has made me grow a little bit. And I keep praying and praying and praying that I want to be bold like Peter in his witness. And I know tonight, if I go out there on a motorcycle and I die, I know I'm going to heaven. Amen. But that's how I start trying to, God trying to get me more bold. Because what Satan does is he'll, I come up there and I say, oh, he don't want to listen to that. He don't want to hear it. He don't want to be there. You know, so that kind of makes me shy about it. Now I'm trying to be bold where I ask him, if you died tonight, what, if you died not on that motorcycle, wherever, where would you go? And I know one 17-year-old lady. My daughter, she said, I don't know, but I've tried to talk to her, but my wife, <laughs> as godly as she is, uh, she's tried to tell me, because she knows more about kids than I do, that i got to show her what that my walk. You can Sometimes you can preach to everybody all you want to, but if your walk's not matching up what you're preaching, Woo! And I, many years, my walks never match what I'm preaching. But I tell you, this little lady right here that God put in my life, she's an example for me to follow. I know Jesus is my example of all of us example, but he puts people in your life that will highly encourage you. And I got some brothers out here that they don't realize that I watch their walk, but I do, including this man right here. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, and I love you. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to hear a funny story on my brother here. I was, uh, he called me one day, and he said, hey, he said, I need some help loading a motorcycle. He's got a trike. I said, I'll be right over there. I got over there. <laughs> I told uh, Brother Mike Wells, I said, you drive, me and him's going to push. We'll be the motor. You just guide it in the back of that wagon. We're coming down that hill. I mean, we was rolling. It's hard on fat people to run, hard as I was running. And I, and I didn't see him, and I looked. He was rolling down the hill. <laughs> we got it loaded, though. But he's walking a lot better now than he was then. Amen. God moved in his life. Anybody else before I let you go tonight, so thankful that you came. But I'm more excited that the Lord showed up. 
and help some people tonight. That's what we're here for, amen. You know, I heard this here a while back of a, a pastor that he starts uh, every uh, three years. He starts in Genesis. takes him three years. He preaches, this, and he preaches all the way to Revelations. He's done it for 25 years. Some of his members were saying, could somebody just please put a bug in his ear and tell him, we need, we need the Spirit to move in our church. And you know something? Every one of us in this house has heard enough gospel to save the whole world. Every one of us. Amen. You don't need me to stand up here and proclaim to you he's a healer. You know he's a healer. I don't have to tell you he's a Savior. He is your Savior. Amen. I don't have to tell some of you he's a Holy Ghost baptizer because you've been baptized in his Spirit. Amen. And what we need to do is take what we already know and what we already have and go out to a lost and dying world and tell them that there's hope for them that's on dope, man. There's hope for those that are. You ain't so lost that God won't save you. Amen. You're not so lost. If that had been the case, I wouldn't be your pastor because I was that lost one time in my life. Amen. Amen. Anybody else before I let you go? Tell them, sissy. Talk to them. Yeah, they'll hear you. I think. Turn around and see if they can. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody else? I don't want you. If you need to, I want you to. Cousin? Cousin Wendy over. Here. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anybody else? Any good to be a Christian tonight? The Bible said don't rejoice because the demons are subject to you. Rejoice because your name's been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. I ain't never seen the book. I ain't never seen the cross. Amen. I ain't never seen heaven, but I believe it, don't you? Amen. There's a witness in my soul. Every bit of it's real. Amen. Praise the Lord. Nobody else standing all over the building? Hey, remember this coming Saturday at 11 o'clock, bring the food, 12 o'clock, the festivities start. Amen. Old time Sunday, dinner on the ground on Saturday. Everybody's going to be dressed up old timey. Uh, are we giving away a prize for the old timiest? They're having a chicken wing eating contest. See, today is Pentecost Sunday, right? Pentecost means it's a feast day, right? Uh, and you ain't never seen, listen, any skinny Pentecostal uh preacher is he he, he is a uh, uh he's he's not real amen you got you got to <laughs> i'm teasing but uh they're having a chicken wing eating i thought we was having one on i didn't know we was having a contest on who could eat the most is that what we're having where's the coordinator coordinator what are you doing to me <laughs> hey i can win i just don't I can win. I just have you seen Leonard's belly? I don't know if I can beat him or not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Remember this Saturday and uh, remember this Friday night. If you don't have anything going on and you want to go to church, I'm going to be in Rutledge down to Rutledge Church of God this Friday night, preaching down there. They're kicking off a weekend revival. I'm preaching Friday night. State overseers preaching. Uh, Saturday night, I, I'm not really sure who's preaching Sunday, but anyway, try if you can come out, be with us, Amen. And let's fellowship some, brother Ed York and them down there. All hearts and minds clear. Where's Miss Della at? She's hiding back there. Why does she hide for? She knows I can see her higher from here, Amen. Come on up here, youngin. <laughs> She's going to dismiss us. Continue to pray for her mommy. Her mommy's doing a lot better. That's a testimony that needs to be testified to. God has moved in her mama's life and raised her up. Hey, how many people in here survived COVID? Raise your hand if you survived it. Hey, I want you to understand. I want you to know God gave you the victory over that thing. Amen. And God gave her mama the victory over it. I had it in 2019. The devil thought he had me, but I got away. Amen.
you know, uh, just speaking about when he said, uh, Mama, it reminded me whenever she went on the ventilator the day she did, I thought it was all done. And um, I was trying to keep, you know, my faith in God and, and everything. And sometimes for me, I can have all the faith for everybody, but sometimes it's hard for me to have it for myself. And a uh, pastor came to me and we had one of the services like we did tonight. And he said, God said he's going to raise your mama up. He's going to resurrect her. And, we, and at that time, we said, we don't know if it's going to be on this side or the other side. And I had to accept that that night, I had to accept if it was on the other side, God knew what he was doing because he does know what he's doing. You know, and the enemy talked to me in my bedroom that week that she was on the ventilator. And I was praying and we were fasting here at the church. And, and he came to me and he said, I'm going to kill her. How many times has pastor told us when the enemy speaks to you, when the devil speaks to you, that's a lie because he's the father of lies and God does the opposite. So the moment he said that to me, I spoke up and I said, Satan, you don't have no right to her. You can't kill her. She's a king. She's a, a, a daughter of the most high. You can't do anything to her. And so whenever that was said to me, I knew she was going to be okay. And I kept saying, and believing and trusting that God was going to resurrect her. This week, this Thursday will be the third week that she's home. Let's give God praise for that. She's home. And she's like, and get this. She may not be able to physically go to church, but this Wednesday night, sitting at my kitchen table, she's going to preach her first message to her church right there because God can do all things. He is healing her lungs, and she's going to be able to preach to her people. Come on, there, God deserves more praise than that. The enemy thought that he had it. But let me tell you, God said, no way. He turned it around for our good. And let me tell you something. Sometimes you just got to hold on to God's promises. No matter how dark it gets. I'm living proof of that. Just within the last month of my mama. And you guys can do it too. God loves us so much. He loves us so much. And he just asks us to love him. And do what he asks us to do. Sometimes my, my mama was telling me the other day, she said, Della, you tell your children a couple of times, three times before they do anything. And whenever you were growing up, I only had to tell you guys one second time you got it. But how many of us is like that with, our, with God? He'll tell us to do something two or three times, and we don't do it. But you know what? It doesn't matter how long it takes me, I'm going to say what God tells me to say. And he and you suffer the consequences whenever you don't do what he says to do the first time. But when you finally do it, you say, well, Lord, why didn't I do this to begin with? You know better than I do. And I thank God for that. Let's give God one more praise. One more praise. Better than what you gave him all day long. Because we have seen miracles on top of miracles. Deliverance on top of deliverance right here at Mount Vale. Don't forget, we have service Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Go tell somebody, bring somebody with you. I can't wait to hear what God's going to do Wednesday night. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Dear precious Heavenly Father, God, we thank you and we worship you, God, for everything you're doing, everything you're going to do, Father. We thank you, God, for what you did here tonight, God. We thank you, God, that you gave us what you gave us, Father. We pray, God, that you help us that we can take it out into the world and we can show them your love, God. Bring us back at your point in time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.